those pens you have floating around in drawers and jars all around your house, and yet somehow you can't find a working pen when you need it, that's an imponderable. Today is the day we're gonna find all of those working pens and put them to good use. I'm Josie Lewis, and today with Crayola, we're offering a project geared for the grown-ups. The kids can come along if they want. So grab a glass of something and get ready to see your creativity blossom and your stress melt away. Today, the project is the junk drawer mandala. Supplies are a piece of paper, some masking tape, a straight edge, and all of the random pens, pencils, markers, highlighters you can find in your house. I used a whole bunch of things from Crayola, from glittery and fat to skinny and colorful. The more variety, the better. The true benefit of this project is you can identify and destroy all of the dead pens from your house because nobody likes a dead pen. The materials I used were a piece of mixed media paper. I taped my paper down with masking tape, which wasn't 100% necessary, mainly because I love peeling it off at the end. I picked a random midpoint that wasn't actually in the dead center because I'm kind of funky that way. You can certainly measure out the precise center. Using my straight edge, I worked in a clockwise motion. The thing you'll want to do is position your ruler to the center point, then draw from the bottom edge or the trailing edge of the straight edge. The reason for this is that sometimes some of the inks take a while to dry, a few seconds. And if you drag the ruler across the ink or your hand, you run the risk of smearing it. Mandalas historically were done as religious practices to help center the mind and aid in meditation. I find that they help me relax and get into flow, and often they turn out pretty cool. This project takes a while to build up the color and texture, and you'll find that as you go, the center area will become very dense with ink and color. When the ink really starts to build up, I actually start the mark an inch or so from the center just to avoid a really goopy mess. Now here comes my favorite part, peeling off the tape to get that super sharp edge. I love this, it's so satisfying. You will want to use a masking tape that's not super sticky and also the longer it sticks to your paper, the more likely it will be to tear the paper. I actually had a little bit of trouble in this project where it kind of like pilled the paper a little bit when I was peeling it off. So you don't want it to sit there for too long. Here are a couple variations. You can be more deliberate about where you're putting your colors and create a rainbow. You can also use black paper and gel pens. I call this the hyperspace effect. Thanks for spending time with me. You can see more of my work at josielewis.com or anywhere on social media as Josie Lewis Art. Also, be sure to visit crayola.com slash crafts for tons more ideas and inspiration for your home projects. And use the hashtag Crayola Crafts to share your work with the world.